Hi everyone, this is a tutorial from dwbiconcepts.com. In this tutorial today, we will learn how to implement a slowly changing dimension of type 3. For this example, we are going to consider a customer dimension and we will consider a change data extraction from the source or incremental loading. Let's check the implementation using SAP data services. This is how the job looks like. In the initialization script, we have set the global variable dollar sysdate to the system sysdate function of data services and it's, this will be used to populate the load date column of the target dimension table. In order to extract the change data from the source, we will be maintaining a batch, con, batch load control table and this is how the batch load control tables looks like and by this time I think we are all familiar with how the simplistic batch load control table looks like and how we are capturing the change data based on the last date of extraction and so I won't go much into the detail of this script it is pretty understandable next let's go back and check the data flow implementation using data services over here we have the th three source tables and we are using a query transform to perform a join and at the same time we are using a where clause to filter uh, to impose the filter condition so that based on the modified or last uh, modified or new inserted records based on the last extracted date we will consider only those records the, that is the change records in our current load next first let's check a, uh, take a look at the customer dimension table because this is a scd type 3 in scd type 3 we are basically interested to maintain partial history that is we will capture the present state and the most previous state so in this current context, let's consider that the status coming from the source table, we are going to maintain it in our target dimension table as slowly changing dimension of type 3. For that, we are going to maintain two fields. One is the present status of that customer and another field to maintain the previous status of that customer. So this is the status column, what I am talking about. It's coming from the customer table from the source. In the next query transform, we are taking a lookup on our target dimension table, which is of SRE type 3. Let's check the lookup. Modify function call. So we are taking the <coughs> lookup on the dimension table, which is a preload cache type. Based on the source natural key, we are performing a lookup operation. And as a return, we are taking the customer key, which is the surrogate key of the dimension table. And at the same time, we are taking one more column, which is the present status. What is the current status of that record? If it exists in the target, then we want to fetch that present status from the lookup table. Uh, and in case, uh, let's check the, the next uh, query transform where we are implementing the logic based on which we will flag a record for insert or we will flag a record for update. So till now we have performed a lookup and we have taken two fields. One is the surrogate key and another is the present status if it exists in the target dimension table. In the next query transform we are flagging the rows. So over here <coughs> this is the logic for the a new output column flag. So if the surrogate key is null then it means that the record doesn't exist in the target dimension table so in that case we need to insert that record so we are flagging it as insert if the status coming from the source table and the status what is present in the lookup uh, dimension table is not the same for a existing lookup surrogate key for the existing customer surrogate key so in that case, we need to update that particular record present in our dimension table. Else we will discard that record, if any. So after that, we are using a case transform to route the rows accordingly in the insert path and the update path. In the insert path, we are considering the flags for insert. And in the update part, we are going to consider the uh, records which are destined for update so let's change it to equal to okay next based on the insert part this, this is the new incoming record and doesn't exist in the customer dimension of type scd type 3 
so in this case we are going to map the present status as the status coming from the source and considering the previous status since it's a new record we will populate it as null next we need to populate the surrogate key for the corresponding dimension table so for that purpose we are using a key generation transform and we are mapping the target table as a table name and customer key as the generated key column which is the surrogate key and the increment value as 1 and finally we place our target dimension table and we have used a basic error handling with overflow file if any rejection occurs during insert it will be written in the reject file next we go to the update path in this flow if a surrogate key is found as a uh, as a lookup as a result of the lookup based on the source natural key so in that case we need to take the current existing uh, present status of that customer and populate it into the as previous value and the new incoming status should be populated to the present uh, present status field so in this query transform we are actually performing that operation customer key it is coming as a lookup from the so, uh, from the look, uh, lookup return and this is the present status which is mapped to the status which is coming from the source table this is the previous status that we are going to maintain and this is uh, based on the present status that is being looked up previously using the query transform and currently it is the present status of the target dimension table and we will uh, move it to the previous status after that since the rows coming in from the source is destined for insert or it's a normal opcode is set as normal we need to change the opcode for the those records with flag with normal to update and finally we will use the cust our target dimension table which is customer dimension SAD3 so based on this key the present status and the previous status will get updated so this is the implementation of SCD type 3 and next we have the catch block where we do the basic error handling or exception handling and uh, correspondingly we will mark the batch control table the entry of, of the batch uh, entry in the batch control table to failure if there is any exception and if everything goes fine in the final script we will make the batch control table the entry as success and if there is any rejection file in that case we will make the status as jobs execution status as failure and at the same time we will raise an exception so that the job status is shown as terminated instead of completed so that's it the implementation of slowly changing dimension of type 3 in case of any questions please visit dwbiconcepts.com thank you